So there's me um, 85 quid, 85 pound Kona from eBay. Uh, didn't look like that when I got it, but let's see uh, let's see what it looked like when I first got it. Here's the unboxing. Here we go. At long last, I get to take the um, beautiful bike out of the bloody box. Uh, it's been a few weeks. Um, basically, I haven't had time because of what's going on over there, patio. What's going on over there? New house and various things like that, but now I'm on it. There we go. So, first impressions. Oh no, that's a shame. Don't know where the, uh, the other Kona lever's gone. So I right, be easy enough to find. Very slight bars, corroded DX thummies, plenty of rust. I'm already thinking paint, paint or save, paint or save, I don't know. See how well that cleans up. X like bar ends, as nice as they are they're not for me so they'll be coming off I think. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, Sunijo Impel. I think that's how you say it. Chain set. Uh, not too much heel rub, so uh, may not have done loads of work. What's the jockey wheels like? Oh my god, it's either broken or it's done some serious mileage. Oh no, it's broken. I'll have another look at that in a minute. Of course it's not focusing. Let's get it out. There she is, all together. Oh, Quite rusty, but I'm uh, not going to complain. Yeah, nearly forgot that. The uh, bloody hard to find top cap. Yeah, so that's, that's the bike. Uh, she's all right. Actually, before we go any further, there we go, spraying a bit of this stuff on it again. Got a fresh, uh, fresh bottle. Um, it's pretty potent though, like I mentioned in my last video. Don't know if anyone watching this one saw it, but this is the, when I said you have to be careful with it, this is like a paper um, sticker on the rim. I'd rather keep hold of that, so I'm going to keep it away from that, otherwise it will take it clean off. Lovely, lovely. I think it's actually going to come up pretty well. And on to these. Nasty, nasty little screws. Uh, to be replaced with some lovely little titanium ones. It makes bugger all difference to the weight, but I know they're titanium. <sighs> Fixed. That off. And that one off. These off. Bloody ergo grips. As comfortable as they might be, they look bloody awful. I'd rather have uncomfortable hands. Uh, next, tyres. So it's got the original A drive tyre on the front. I think um, they've had their money's worth out of that. And uh, it's time to go. The rear one's just some cheap crap, probably from Halfords. So, might work, it might not work. Got these. Some uh, slightly later 90s, dried up and crispy. Probably worse than what's already on there, but they look cool. Uh, wild grippers. Let's uh, sling them on. Yeah, while I've got the wheel off, just going to get rid of this uh, scabby old QR. And the rear one, that doesn't even match, it's black. Don't know what the original colour was. Uh, got a few choices. Got uh, these old uh, Tektro 
blue ones that we all used to have. Don't think that's going to go too well with the green. Uh, we've got the USE titanium spin sticks. Mm, might work. Or we've got possibly a little bit overkill titanium uh, very early X Lite cam lock ones. And lovely those are. Don't know, might be a bit much for this old rusty cinder cone. Or just some tidier versions of what's already on there. Probably go with that for now. So it's the next day now, and I've um, just stepped outside uh, to nip down the shop on the uh, Doors Kingpin to go and get some milk and normal stuff. Uh, yeah, just, this is how far I got yesterday with it. Absolute classic looking bike. You always get to that stage in a project when you can just um, really see it coming together and it's at that stage now. Got the flight to go on that uh, the other tyre to go on there uh, I can't handle the um, levers not matching just uh, yeah that'll just do my head in so I've ordered a new old stock set of um, anodized green levers off of eBay they're only 15 quid so I'm not expecting much but levers are levers really they're all metal no no plastic in them so it should be alright um, yeah so Gonna gonna get my shop in and then come back, take the um pedals off, I'm gonna put silver pedals on, flight on and all the rest of it. I'm not gonna bother putting grips on yet, because the grips I've got are a pain in the ass to get on and off. And if I'm putting new levers on they're gonna have to come off anyway. So I'll leave it without any grips for the minute. But yeah, that's where we're at so far. Got my bits and bobs from down the shop, so back on the bike again quickly. Did notice though when I was Taking the tire off, there is a uh, bit of a dent in the rim there. So someone's had some fun on it. It's good to see it's been used properly. See that? Let's see if we can take it out. Got me um, official dent rim dent removal tool. It's actually a, a, a set of crappy pliers from the the boot of my old E46 BMW. Yeah. So I'll probably need two hands for that. But basically, just. Gently hold it on there, I'll put a cloth over it obviously to prevent damage when I'm actually doing it and then pull back gently. Uh, maybe use a bit of heat or something as well. There we go, job done. There's only a little dent, wasn't, nothing, wasn't anything too bad. Just about to see the evidence of it there. That'll be fine. Let's pump them up and watch them crack. Next, let's get these off. Oh, bloody hell. Green looks nice, doesn't it? A bit rusty. Proper shiny though, that is. There we go. Obviously, with the full rebuild, these will be covered in grease and stuff. Because we do everything properly. Just sort of take this opportunity to flex my, uh, my only park tool in the box. My pedal spanner. And uh, we even managed to bugger that up a little bit. Yeah. While I'm down here, it will come with these crappy made in Taiwan stickers. Get that off. No, that's not bad. Only, uh, only about 32% residue left on there. Oh, she's looking nice. So. That's the uh, natural thing to stick on there. That's like my go-to for any bike. Whack a flight on there. But I forgot I had this uh, Minty Fresh SL. Uh, I reckon that's going to look better. It's going to make a nice change from um, putting a flight on everything. I'm going to put that on there. It's got the little green touches that go with all the rest of the green. Yeah, let's let's get that on there. Wow, yeah. I think the uh, that SL looks pretty good on there. I think I made the correct choice. Although, do tell me if I'm wrong. Also, uh, don't forget, I didn't put grease on the pedals. Could, uh, that's always worth a bit of abuse. Uh, 
pulled the dent out of the rim with a pair of pliers. Did the same in the front, but off camera. It was too dense. Yeah, so uh, any comments, good, bad, uh, veiled threats, it's, it's all good. Only joking, I'll never get anything like that. Lucky if I get about two comments on the videos. But uh, that's as far as I can go for now. I'm going to really go to town on the rust. Get, I'm sure I can get a lot of that out with a uh, one of those plastic scouring type brushes and a bit of uh, auto cell aluminium polish. Normally does pretty well on stuff like that. I'm going to do stuff like uh, try and get a little green anodized um, oh, bridges, hangers, whatever you call them, these bits, widgets. Uh, when I take, when I get the green anodized levers that I previously mentioned, I'm going to whip these uh, the DX shifters off, uh, paint these the clamps black again because they're a little rusty. Yeah, should start looking the part then. Got the new old stock. Actually, they're just new. They're not really old stock, but they're foam grips, the same style as the '90s ones. I ordered in a huge job lot of them a few years ago down to my final pair they're super tight to get on so I'm not putting them on at the moment because once they're on they stay on unless you're going to cut them off but yeah I think that is pretty much it for now I'm as far as I can go without spending some serious time on it which I've already done and now I'm going to spend the rest of my Sunday uh, sorting out the patio yeah, it's a bike channel, so I won't go into that too much. Yeah, so that's it for now. Until next time when I put some green stuff on it.